If you've ever bathed in the sun on a tropical white sand beach, you were probably lying in mounds of fish poo. I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. <laughs> Parrotfish live in tropical waters near coral reefs around the world. Home sweet home. They eat the algae that clings to the coral, scraping it off with their bird-like beaks. They often break off whole chunks of coral, which they grind up with these teeth they have, not in their mouths, but in their throats, called pharyngeal teeth. The coral passes right through them and comes out the other end as a fine white sand. Excuse me. The amount varies by species, but it's estimated that a single giant humphead parrotfish can poop out over 11,000 pounds of sand a year. In fact, a huge portion of the sand found in Caribbean and Hawaiian beaches was actually created this way. But that's not the only thing that makes these guys a little gross. Huh? When juvenile parrotfish sleep, they swaddle themselves in mucus. Scientists aren't entirely sure why they do this, but they think the mucus cocoon might be a way to block the fish's scent from either predators or parasites that try to feast on them while they sleep. Curses, foiled again. Finally, one more noteworthy characteristic is that some parrotfish can change their sex during their lifetime. This can happen in a variety of ways, but in many species, all the babies are born female, and then some will become male when they mature. Way to go, parrotfish. Be who you want to be. As you can tell, these creatures have a ton of truly excellent qualities, including how they taste. In many places, parrotfish meat is considered a delicacy, but research is indicating that these guys are really important parts of reef communities. By eating algae, they help keep reefs clean and healthy, so we need to be careful to protect these sand-pooping, mucus-wrapped, weed whackers of the sea. Ew. Got a question about parrotfish? Let me know in the comments. And for more gross science, hit subscribe.